Hi guys, it's Harry and today I'm back with another video. And it has been over a week. Uh you can probably tell I'm still ill now. Uh so excuse what I look like and stuff, but I wanna get around especially this is like the most important wrestling time of the year, around WrestleMania, that kind of thing. Uh so today I'm just gonna be doing some uh, predictions. Excuse my voice and everything, just literally right now, just so ill. <coughs> yeah, sorry, but um yeah, let's get right into this. So First thing, New Day hosting it. That probably means they're going to have some massive thing going on. I don't know. <laughs> They'll try and do something funny, but it's kind of getting a bit dead now, to be honest. Like, they need to do something. I don't want them to really break up at all, but I think they need to do something. Andre the Giant, Memorial, Battle Royal. I don't know if I butchered that. I think that's right. We've got some people in it. I think here it says Big Show. Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn, Mojo Rawley, people like that. My prediction is that this is actually on the pre-show. So, I'm not too sure whether they're going to do something good. Or just something playing boring with it. If they're doing something good, I'm going to say Sami Zayn. If they're doing something, which is still going to be good because I, I love Braun Strowman. But I think if they're just going to do like the predictable, they're going to have Braun Strowman. That might be why it's on the pre-show. I'm just going to go Sami Zayn anyway. I hope he wins. I want him to win as well. Uh, the second match on a pre-show, which both of these should not be on the pre-show. All of the matches on this card deserve to actually have a spot to win this spot. Yeah, um, we've got the Cruiserweight Championship on the line when Austin Aries goes up against Neville. Austin Aries had a rapid rise up. And as you can see, I've got Billy's phone here. That's why I so smashed, because I'm recording on this one. I'm getting out of my camera and everything. It's kind of bothered or something else. Uh... <coughs> But yeah, Austin Aries had a massive quick rise up the ladders in the WWE. And Neville, he's also going pretty good. To be honest, I like Austin Aries, but I just really do like Neville. Uh, I want Neville to win. To be honest, I think they're going to go with Austin Aries. So that's going to be my pick, Austin Aries. I'm kind of hoping there's going to be Neville. And the next match is the SmackDown Women's Championship match. It looks like they've got everyone in it. And on this week's SmackDown, they just confirmed Naomi's going to be in it as well. She's my pick. Like, I don't know. I don't, don't think it's elimination or something like that, but something's going to happen. Because I reckon they're going to build a bunch of feuds sort of after Mania. I think they're going to go Naomi and Becky uh, and then, like, Mickey James and Alexa. That's probably what's going to happen in the end of the match. It's Mickey James is probably going to cost Alexa or Mickey James will get pinned and Seven Bad will go there. Could be a good match, though. The first one on the card, which I think this should be opening the card, because usually I have the ladder match opening the card, is the Raw Tag Team titles on the line when Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson the club go against Enzo and Cass uh, and Cesaro and Sheamus. I think this has potentially be quite a good match. I mean, usually you want high flyers and kind of acrobatic people to be in the match. I'm not saying they're not acrobatic, but I'm thinking Hardys, Edge and Christian, people like that that can jump off the stuff. With the stuff. This is, you can tell I'm ill, like, I'm just butchering everything. My mind's not in the right place, but I wanted to get this out. Um, I've got Enzo and Cass. I really want them to win. To be honest, I think any of these could win, and it'll be good. And I'm just going to adjust this for a second, and it could be good. But I think Enzo and Cass, I want them to win, so they can get it for the first time. And I think they will win, so, yeah, that's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me, keep coughing all the time, it's probably annoying, but... The next match is Baron Corbin versus Dean Ambrose. This is the order it's on here. I don't know like what order they're gonna be on the car, but this is what order it is on here. For the Intercontinental Championship. I can see this going either way. I either see Baron Corbin getting a big push and going over the top. Or Dean Ambrose retaining. Uh now usually at WrestleMania they do have some surprise things, at least one. Like last year was Zack Ryder. You could even say AJ Styles losing as well, you could class that as two. There probably was more as well, that's all I remember though, to be honest. But, right, just because of that, I'm going to go with Baron Corbin. I have a feeling, to be honest, I have a feeling Dean Ambrose will win. But going by my logic of there being at least one or two, like, shocks in the evening, I'm going to go for Baron Corbin. And he's a great wrestler anyway. I quite rate him, to be honest, so he can win that. Uh, next one, Miz and Maurice versus Nikki Bella and John Cena. We, everyone wants to see this match, am I right? No, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't want to see the match. I don't think it's going to be an absolute 
belts were a match, but the build up, I've absolutely loved. I keep adjusting the camera, I'm really uncomfortable. But the the, the total bullshit segments or whatever it is, oh, I've been loving them, especially the bit with Daniel Bryan, and that was comedy gold. I love that. We're gonna, I'm just gonna go John Cena. You don't bet against John Cena at WrestleMania. Him and Nikki are going over. I don't think anyone's gonna doubt that. But I could see that could be a shock, like I just said. That could be the shock right there, but when was the last time John Cena lost to WrestleMania? Like, no, it's not happening. But in the next match, Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the United States title. It could have been a bit better if it was a universal title, but that opportunity's gone. Now here they're going to go with Chris Jericho, and that could be a trick because he's meant to be going away after WrestleMania, so it could be an obvious one. Or it could be Kevin Owens. But the only reason I'm going to go straight up Kevin Owens is... Well, he's an amazing wrestler, so that could be why. And I think this is going to be the, probably the best match on the card. I'm not even going to lie. This and Triple H, Seth Rollins. One of them, I think, is going to be the best one on the card. But they've already booked a Fozzy Tour, whatever his band is, for Chris Jericho. So it's not like that's going to be a fake, where certain things you can say doing and then fake it. People have paid money to do it. So he has to be there. So... And this is going to be a proper part-timer, which is pointless when you're trying to raise the prestige of a title, give it to Owens, and he'll have the Intercontinental, Universal, and the uh, United States under his belt already, uh, under NXT, so just perfect. <coughs> it's really annoying. I've literally been off school for two weeks straight, so this has pretty much been one of the most longest times I've been talking straight in ages, because I've just been in bed all day. And when her parents come up and Billy comes up and I'll talk to them for a bit. But it's already been going six minutes. So it just shows you how I'm not proper in the mood. But I'm so hot for WrestleMania. Anyway, just let's get back on the topic of uh, actual WrestleMania. The Raw Women's title is on the line in a fatal four-way elimination match. We've got Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, Charlotte and Bailey. Now everyone is either going for Bailey or Nia Jax in this match. I think mainly Nia Jax. I'm begging Charlotte, right? This is how I see it going down. The first one out of the match is Sasha Banks. She gets absolutely just... Dis no, 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 scrap that, scrap that. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Because I, I mapped this out last time when I was thinking about doing this video. Everyone at the beginning, Nia Jax just obliterates everyone. You think, right, she's winning, she's doing this right. But then eventually, everyone starts ganging up, ganging up, ganging up. And then I feel like... What's going to happen is somehow, some way, Charlotte's going to eliminate her. Like, they're going to beat her down in their natural selection or something. Something's going to happen. They're just all going to keep ganging up on her. And she's going to get, like, one, two, three. And she kick out after three. So then that's going to happen. And she's just going to take out everyone anyway. She's getting, like, absolutely mad. And that can set up for Charlotte versus her after Mania. And then you've got them three in a match. And at some point, Charlotte will be out the ring. And then uh, Bailey will eliminate Sasha. Before Charlotte. Like they'll do something where. They're pretending to go. And one of them will go. And then some, someone hit the finisher or something. Probably Charlotte. Uh, out of the ring. And then Sasha turns on Bailey. But Bailey hits a bay to Bailey. One, two, three. And then that's going to set up a Sasha heel turn. After Mania. But then Charlotte will run in the ring. And have a match. But she'll like. She'll win in the end. Because she's Charlotte Flair. And she's, she's an amazing wrestler anyway. So there's no reason for her not to hold the title. So, yeah, there we go. She'll win that one. Which I think is kind of a shock. Because last year you could kind of said it would have been either of the other people. But she always seems to do it, you know. She just always seems to come out on top. Now, the next match, Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. I've still got so many matches to go through. But it's only already been nine minutes long. So, if you've actually watched this and watched all the way to the end, then uh, thank you. But it's a pretty predictable match. AJ Styles. I've said so many times in this. Oh, it could be... Surprise where the other person wins or whatever, but this one there's no way Shane's winning. If they do, they better have a good reason for it because right now I see no good reason. I think I like AJ Styles, I like Shane McMahon, but he can have a better match. AJ at Mania, he can have a much better match at Mania than Shane McMahon. And thus, I'm not saying Shane's a bad wrestler, but personally, I think like they could have brought back Kurt Angle or something and done that, but you know, they put him with him. It's had a decent build up. And I did post a video a couple of weeks ago saying that I was excited for the build up. That happened one time and now the hype's died down for me to be honest. But it could be a good match. I mean, 
AJ seems to pull off good matches with everyone. But yeah, he's going to win. And then, I don't know, something's going to happen with that. <coughs> I've probably had like a cough counter in this video. I've probably coughed about 10 times. But anyway, the next match is Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. People are saying Roman could win and retire him. People are saying Undertaker could win and retire after the match or carry on. Personally, I think Taker wins this match. I don't think he retires. I think he wins, uh, beats, puts him over. I mean, he could do some good spots and try and get Roman over. But I think he wins the match because they're not going to try and let him. After a streak of that long being so prominent, just to be like, oh, yeah, well, we can let this person beat him and this person and this one. Ever since Brock Lesnar beat the streak, now every year everyone said, well, this person could beat it, this person could. And it's just not going to... Like, people thought last year, maybe Shane can win and then it'll be a shot. But... No, and everyone's like, oh, Bray Wyatt's going to go over. No. It seems people are thinking the, the streak is still a thing. It's ended, but it's still got prominence of the Undertaker at WrestleMania. That's why people, they still build up without having anything else, like a title on the line. It's because the streak is still useful to some capacity. Because he lost once, but it still doesn't change the fact that at WrestleMania, he's the best competitor. So he wins, and I think he still carries on for a bit. Whether it's one year or more, or two years more, something, even if he retires at SummerSlam, which I don't think, I think it will be a WrestleMania, unless he has to retire early, then, uh, yeah, I think it will be the next year, then, or the, probably 35, hopefully, because it's, it's a decent number, fives and tens are the ones that are usually the best ones, you know, except 25 and things like that, but you know what I mean. And the next match, probably the second most I'm excited for, behind Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins versus Triple H, and a non-sanctioned match, whatever that is, don't know. I think it just means that it's something about suing, because that's what they always go about on Raw with Triple H. But yeah, this could be the best match of the night. It's got the best story, the longest build-up out of all of them, besides probably the other one that I'm really excited for, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho. But I just think this could be the perfect WrestleMania match. It's just got everything. It's got the story, it's got the wrestlers, and if you think Triple H, he always wins at Mania. And I think Seth Rollins goes over this time. He just does it. This time, he has done it. It's, it he's gonna, Triple H is starting to move into a more backstage role anyway. So, Seth Rollins wins this one. And probably the best match. And I think there's only two more left now. Uh, I'll go over the main event last, obviously. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. And I'm really, I'm really confused right now because I don't know whether I think Bray's going to win because they've just given him it or they've just given him it to give to Orton. And I really don't want that to be the case. But I feel like it is. Like, if they're still giving him Royal Rumble wins, they could have just give someone else to win, like a Goldberg and then had him win it or Brock Lesnar and then had him win it. But they've given it to Randy Orton, like... <sighs> hmm. And I feel like... I don't want it to. I really like Bray Wyatt. I want him to win. But... I just have deep down. I, have a, I just know. I have a feeling that he's going to lose. And that hurts me, but... I don't know. He's going to lose. Randy Orton's going to win. And that's how it is. Hopefully, he'll win it back after Mania or something. And the last match, Goldberg versus Lesnar... You got the old man versus the slightly less old man. Uh, two part timers, like it was last. I mean, this time they're not both leaving. I think Goldberg probably is leaving, but they're still both part timers. So either way, it's it's probably still going to be the same crowd as last time. This is going to close up the show. I don't get what you're saying. Well, Randy won the Rumble, so he has to win WrestleMania 27. Even though it was a crap show. Alberto Del Rio won the Rumble and started the show off. Like, that's not the main event of WrestleMania. They say it is, but it's just... It's gone down from that to basically you get a title show of WrestleMania now. So, Goldberg and Lesnar going on last. I think everyone knows that. Everyone knows that there's no way Brock Lesnar or Goldberg is going on halfway through the card. I think Goldberg could put up with it, but Lesnar, he's just the type of guy that'll throw his weight around and be like, I'm winning in the main event of WrestleMania. And that's brought my pick right there. Brock Lesnar wins the match. It just makes sense. Unless Goldberg stays around after Mania, 
which to be honest, I'd quite like. I'd like him to. I'd like for him to stay around after WrestleMania, and it could have been less of a predictable kind of thing if he wins and retains, because no one's going to expect that. But you know, what can you do? But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I might start doing some predictions tonight, or probably not tonight, but tomorrow before the show on Saturday with the NXT TakeOver. Predictions for that or something, but we'll have to see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and remember, don't take liberties.